So we want to start experiencing more vitality. We want to feel more vitalized. But before we move on to the solutions, we need to understand about problems or issues that per perhaps could be holding us back, stop us from maybe experiencing that vitality. Now, one of the things is our habits, our behaviors, our practices. Have you taken a step back to actually look at those habits? Habits that may be stopping you from feeling more vitalized, feeling more energized. If those habits and behaviors are not serving you, you need to address those and change those. Because we all have habits. Some of us are conscious, are aware of those habits. Uh, some of us are completely unconscious, unaware. But by addressing those habits and practices and behaviors, you can start to experience more vitality, more energy in our lives. And the other issue that people often feel that stops them from experiencing more vitality is that feeling of hopelessness. And now we talked about it in our previous module where people can feel a sense of overwhelm, a feel of sense of hopelessness, that they can't move forward. Now, by changing your attitude, changing your outlook, changing what you're learning, where you are actually going, having a grand vision, you can begin to overcome that experience of feeling hopeless. Now, we're gonna look at actual practical solutions that are gonna empower you, gonna really give you that push in the direction that you can start to experience more vitality, more energy, more zest in your life on a regular basis. So let's go have a look and check out those solutions right now. So practical solutions that you can start doing today that's gonna help you experience more vitality, become more vitalized. Now, when we're talking about solutions, we talked about those potential obstacles, about habits and feeling of hopelessness. Now, in order to overcome those, we need to replace habits. Habits are so ingrained in our behavior, you know, it, it what keeps you doing certain things. Some of them are good, some of them are productive, some of them are to protect you, but some of them will hinder you. So you need to understand when it comes to vitality, what sort of things can you start to change? Are you moving in the direction of pressure or are you just off-putting or offsetting, offsetting pain? Look at those habits. Can you start doing things? Simple things we spoke about. Going out for nice walks, getting out in the open air, breathing on a regular basis. Doing things that are gonna start helping you feel more energized and more vitalized. It could be something simple. One healthy habit a day. Often when it comes to overwhelm, people think they have to do so many different things. But it could be that one thing of going for a walk, spending five minutes a day being more mindful, introducing some healthy food into your diet. It could be anything, just one thing, that's gonna introduce a new healthy habit that's gonna move you towards being more vitalized. Build it up over time. Now be aware, when you do wanna change your habits, when you do wanna seek change, you do want to do something different, the reptilian brain is gonna offer resistance. It's gonna stop, it's gonna say, whoa. Now we spoke about this in the first module where we spoke about how the brain is wired and how it's designed to keep you in a certain state of quo, certain habits, certain way of thinking. But this is the whole reason why you invested in this program and you want to learn how you can think in a different way. Now, if it means going back to that module that Tony spoke about, go back, re-listen to it, write down and take some notes on how you can overcome that resistance because there will be resistance when it comes to change, when it comes to being more vitalized, when it comes to be becoming more energized. The brain will say, well, we haven't done this before. This is unfamiliar territory. Why do I want to change? But understanding about your brain, how it works, will show you how you can overcome that resistance to change and start being and experiencing more vitality in your life. Another important step in a solution is experiencing more vitality is surrounding yourself with people 
that are on the same page as you. You know what it's like. Birds of the same flock, they fly together. <laughs> Birds of a feather, they fly together.